Hey everyone, welcome back. Now I've stayed in some unusual places in my time, but I think this one is definitely the strangest. It's a former crane that has been turned into a luxury hotel. There are three different rooms to choose from. I've decided to choose the room right at the top. It's called the Mystique Suite. And actually inside the room, it's actually based on two different levels. I also get one hell of a view of Amsterdam. Let's go and check in. So in order to get to my room, which is right at the top, I have to take one, two different lifts. And it's, uh, it's in a rather interesting area of Amsterdam. Loads of container ship bars and lots of uh, graffiti. It is absolutely massive. See, it used to be on these big wheels that used to bring it all the way out to the end there. My little car hire is here, safely parked underneath it. When they said they have parking available, I was a bit unsure, but there is a big car park over there, but they do have parking available under here. However, it does cost about 10 euros for about uh, 24 hours. The entrance is there. There is a door there. It's kind of hidden. So in order to get in, I got a WhatsApp with a, a key code to get in that door. I don't know if you can see the door. It's kind of hidden with all the graffiti. I've got the code. Let's head in. Obviously, I'm not going to show you the code. So I can use the stairs or I can use the lift. Let's press the lift. Interesting Turkish lights. Look at that. Well, the lift seems to be taking a little while, so. Uh... Wait four seconds before opening. shut these doors and then I pull that across obviously this is a very rickety lift love the ceiling though open it up we'll just shut this otherwise no one else will be able to use it can get people trapped upstairs if you don't shut it properly. And I've still got to take another lift up there and to get there I've got to go up these steps. This is, uh, look at that. This is so odd. Oh look, what's that? As the mic picks it up, the sound coming from those, what looks like speakers. Anyway, there's a little bench here. <laughs> there is some really random stuff here. A lot of these monkeys. <laughs> Private invites only. That'll be me then. This lift is even smaller. Yeah, a lot smaller. There's an umbrella there, which is quite handy. It's very tight in here. So I use my key and then press Mystique. This is going up very fast. I'm trying not to think about how tiny this lift is and it's on the outside of a crane. And we're here. And my room, literally, is there. By the way, if you don't like heights. Yikes. Right, shut this. <laughs> In we go. Woo, what a scary lift. 
nice and toasty in here. And welcome to my suite, which also has an upstairs. Crazy, I know, there's three different of these rooms. This one is pretty unique because not only does it have a shower, but it has a bath upstairs. But we'll get to that in a minute. But first, let's check out the living room. This is very nice and cosy. And it's also nice, the added extras that they put in your room. And I should think so too, because when you see the price of this room, you will be shocked. Ah, being in Amsterdam, look, there's some fresh, oh no, <laughs> they're not fresh. Mind you, it is winter, how can they be fresh? There is some tulips there on this wonderful book stand, like that. Some, uh, some very interesting artwork. I do have a little mini fridge. Now, I believe this is all complimentary as well in the cost of the room. So I've got some water there, some beer, um, and I've got some Coke at the back. Check out the coffee machine. I have no idea how on earth I'm gonna use that, but there's some capsules here. Got a nice big kettle. Which looks kind of, looks like there's loads of bits in there, actually. I thought I was seeing things then, but that is an actual trumpet, but it's a light, a trumpet light. How do I turn it on? Is it plugged in? How do I turn it on? Looking out through my porthole, an amazing view of Amsterdam, which I'll show you in a little bit. More goodies over here. I have some champagne, very nice. And if <laughs> I don't want champagne, I've also got red wine, some Pringles and some nuts and some ooh, macaroons. What are they? Now, there are a couple of nice areas to lounge around in here, including this very comfortable leather chair with footrest. I know I've got my shoes on. I should take them off, really. And also check this out. 1960s or what? It's ain't gonna break, is it? <laughs> I'm looking out the window and I'm just seeing the top of the crane. That's just so weird. And behind this door we have the bathroom. Complete with a very rusty <laughs> shower. Ooh. I can't say there's that many showers that I've been in that has a view like that. Hopefully nobody can see me from up here. I don't think they can. I've got some shower gel, body shampoo. Looks like a pretty big rainfall shower as well. Love all this. Clearly it's a wet room. So I've got a squeegee here to help, I guess also to, <laughs> to clean the window. Does this window open? Does it, does it open? I don't want a thing to fall off. I don't think it does. Oh, mood lighting, like that, very nice. When I first walked in here, I was a little bit confused. I was like, has someone left a, a shaver? But no, they've, I hope not anyway. No, they've given me a shaver. I don't wet shave, but I think that's also for ladies. Some ultra rich whipped body cream. I've got the hair dryer in here. We've got ladies stuff that you might need. And we have the toilet as well. Oh. Only use toilet paper, no trash. Get 250 euro fine for a shitty toilet and repair. Or there's this sign that says, don't smoke, get killed, and 250 euro fine. That one's actually, I guess, kind of humorous. I love this door though. Soft close as well. Right, let's take you upstairs. This is a lovely space up here. I love the rustic feel to the suite. Check out the light over there. That is so cool. Padded to hide the, uh, I assume the, the metal bars. It looks, and there is a huge bath just there. I mean, that is ridiculously big. And also I have a pretty cool view out the window. Although it's a shame that the window's a little bit dirty. 
to say the least. But I guess getting up here to clean the windows is pretty much probably near enough impossible. I've got another porthole out there. I'll show you on top of that in a minute because yes, I'm allowed to go upstairs because they did used to have a hot tub, but they also have a little area where you can uh, walk out on. Not quite sure what this is for. This wooden, there's a wooden ladder there. <laughs> That's really weird. We have a couple of bath robes that to be fair, look um, like they've been used quite a lot to be fair. Nice little soft rug. I love the corner window though, looking out over Amsterdam and the gold theme continues on the fan and then definitely on the bed. The bed is very comfy and this is very soft. Now when I was looking around the room I was very surprised to see this. I thought I was seeing things. Well I can't say I've ever had that in a hotel room before. Complimentary condoms and they're in date. And me being naive, I thought that was shower gel, but you don't need to use your imagination to guess what's in there. They also have a TV. Oh, look, YouTube, does it work? So look, can we get YouTube on here? I don't know if the batteries in this are not working or what, but uh, the quirky little bits in this room there are amazing. Look at that, that light. That is so cool. There is a funky little chair. And if I just go down here, that is what you call a very odd bedside light. <laughs> Look at that. Let's just check out the pillows. Look at that. Look at the gold. The gold continues. Soft pillows. Let's just check out the mattress, shall we? Just interested. Looks a bit old and a bit yellow, doesn't it? Look at that. Yikes. I have to plug this in. Check out the light. I'll tell you what though, going back down these stairs are a little bit difficult. I have to go down by the side. Well, the room tour is not over yet because and go one floor higher. that. I have no idea what that was. Sounded like a blooming gunshot. <laughs> Let's go upstairs. I also must not forget my key because I don't believe there's anyone here overnight. I have got a WhatsApp number which I'm sure they'd be able to help me out with but uh, yeah I must remember to keep this key otherwise I can't get back into the room or use the lift. That is scary that drop. See you up there. Spa and pool. Wow. I'm a bit gutted that the uh, hot tub is in no longer use, but you can come up here and get some amazing views. And randomly, two cactuses to welcome you. Wow, look at the view. So you can get a free ferry, I think it's free, uh, from over there over to Amsterdam. But the crazy thing about this is that you uh, can walk out, I think. Can I go out here? This hotel is absolutely crazy. And the views you can get from up here are amazing but the walkway does go all the way down to the end i'll give it a miss anyway i'm going to do a little bit of editing and i'll meet you for dinner in a bit so the remote didn't work i tried to manually turn the tv on and every channel just does this so that's a little bit of a shame i'm gonna have a bath in a little bit but this is literally the level of the light that you're going to get up here. It's romantic, yes, but there's, there's no way of getting any more light than this. I'll just have to basically move that a little bit. There doesn't seem to be any Wi-Fi. And also, the TVs don't work. The TV down here 
also has no signal. And I'm not really here to watch TV, but it'd be nice to have that, especially when you'll find out the price that I'm paying for the room. Let's hope someone shut the doors downstairs. I just had to come up here to see the sunset because it looks amazing with the moon. Over to Amsterdam, and then of course out over onto the crane. So I could go into Amsterdam, but to be honest, I just want a quick meal and then uh, get to bed because I'm quite tired. So let's see what this place is like. This does look amazing at night. Well, it's a crane, I know. <laughs> now we could get on this lift. I'm gonna go down the stairs, actually. Do you know what? With that skyline, you would think you're in Dubai just for a moment, wouldn't you? Maybe not. I believe this room is used for, is there a bar in here? So this is used for uh, events, there's like DJ decks here, and there's a bar, there's nobody in here though. We should took the lift now. I know it's weird to say, but with the uh, graffiti all around here, I don't know, it's just, it's just not very nice. Just checking out my hire car is still okay. I don't wanna lose my deposit. I can smell food coming from over here. This is actually in a container ship. I don't know whether you can see it, but there is like a, a little beach here. That is so cool. All right, let's see what they've got. This is a really lovely place, and the fact that you can see the whole of Amsterdam out the window as well, it's lovely. Well, an interesting menu. There's grilled radicho with yerba cheese, poached pear, no. Mains, there's coconut beetroot curry, there's vegetable tagini with pumpkin, there's skin baked redfish, there's wild boar stew. So although this is a lovely restaurant, I have decided to go elsewhere because uh, most of the menu in there is not really to my liking, it's all vegan. Table for yeah. Yeah. Uh, you know when you just kind of want a burger? I didn't realise the name of this place is called Cannibal Royale. Well, the burger was pretty good. However, the clientele wasn't. Shortly after I finished um, my burger, I was on the phone to Gabby and then I went on Instagram, I think, and Facebook and this uh, big guy came over. He started to get a little bit physical, to say the least, uh, kind of like pushing me and doing this. And Anyway, it got a little bit heated in there and I thought I need to get out of there. There's no security. So that, uh, that could have ended uh, a lot worse. A lovely um, introduction to Amsterdam anyway. So I'm going to try and get some sleep double check that the doors are locked so I don't think they can get in here anyway because I've got to go up two lifts and have a key code and a car and, and I'll see you in the morning the night morning what a beautiful sunrise here in Amsterdam first things first let's try and get a coffee using this machine a bit dirty in there I don't know whether I want to use this actually turn it on well, there's no real instructions. I'm kind of just guessing, but I filled that up. I assume I wait for this light to stop flashing and this temperature to get up, I think. There is no milk, it's just creamer, but that'll do. Temperature's going up. Oh, it does say there is some instructions there. I can barely read them. Plus, I think they're in Dutch. Somehow, oh, I've done it.
check out my barista skills. Do you know what? That's pretty good. I know, I'm an absolutely crazy Englishman who decides to put creamer in his espresso. So there obviously is no breakfast, it's just a coffee. Um, I'll go and find some breakfast somewhere else in Amsterdam in a minute. Check out is quite easy as well. I just do it online and uh, I assume I leave my key downstairs where I collected it from and that should be it. It is such a unique hotel. In fact, there's only, I think, two of them in the world and they're both in Amsterdam, unless there's another one now. So I was a little bit gutted that the TVs didn't work, but I guess you're not there to watch telly and I couldn't seem to get on the Wi-Fi. But that being said, apart from that, the views over Amsterdam last night and this morning at sunrise were amazing. So how much did I pay for one night at the Crane Hotel? Well, it cost me a grand total of 1,225 euros, plus city tax of 111 euros bringing the grand total to 1,336 euros. Now, if you compare that to, I don't know, the likes of the Burj Al Arab in Dubai, I definitely got a lot more for my money in Dubai than I did here in Amsterdam. Hence, I'm taking the champagne home with me that I didn't actually get to drink. At least the mini bar was free, and I guess it's a one of a kind stay. And I guess they've got to make their money back somehow because there's only like three rooms in there. I found out the owner was actually the one who was um, sending me WhatsApp messages and uh, you know it was really kind you know was there whenever I needed anything telling me where to go uh, for food and for breakfast because obviously there's a restaurant right there so you can go and get dinner and your breakfast right there so it's not too much of a big deal. Tell me what you thought in the comments it is very expensive for what it is in my opinion um, let me know would you come here do give the video a thumbs up make sure you hit that subscribe button and I'll see you next time.